everybody, welcome back to our Step to Med channel. Today, we're going to go through how to begin those all important personal statements. I know it must seem like such a nerve wracking process. How can you explain why you want to do medicine and dentistry in just 4,000 characters? But I assure you, the hardest thing is actually to get the ball rolling and starting off the personal statement. So we're going to go through our top tips on how to begin and get going. So, firstly, the main thing you can do is write down everything you'd want to include in your personal statement all onto paper, either as a brainstorm diagram, a list, or in one of our logbooks if you've been filling them in along the way. Get everything you want to include down, and initially, don't worry about the word count. Just put it all onto paper, or type it up, because once you've started, it's really easy to go in, modify, chop and change, switch a paragraph around. To get going, throw everything onto paper. Next, the best thing you can do is ensure that it is personal to you. Now, that might seem obvious because it's called a personal statement, but you'll be surprised how many people write as if they're writing for somebody else or they're writing a novel. Just write something that makes it unique to you. Either start off with a work experience that really stood out for you and helped in your decision making, so it's also a great interview topic, or if there's a personal story that's the reason why you decided to become a dentist, or did you have an experience when you were younger that really made you think, actually, I want to be a doctor and help in the world. So make it personal to you because admissions tutors are reading thousands of personal statements and they actually don't spend very long on a personal statement. So they need something that's authentic and stands out and that's something that's quite different because a lot of what you will be saying will be very similar. A lot of people will have done some work experience whether that's in person or virtually but the actual stories and what they gained from it will always be different and that's what makes it original and personal to you. So our second top tip is to write what is the true account. Have you done something that you're particularly proud of? Then include it, but ensure that it truly reflects what you did. Try not to over-exaggerate or over-substantiate it because it can be picked up on and if they bring this up at interview, you could get caught out and that's not the best position to stand in. Moving on to tip number three, don't undersell yourself. So if you've done something incredible, mention it. Highlight why it showed your commitment and understanding to medicine or dentistry. Showcase why it supports your application to dental school or why you should be accepted by that medical school. Definitely include it, but make sure you sell yourself enough to what is truthful and don't over-exaggerate it. Get a balance of both point number two and three. Next, tell a story. Your personal statement should flow and things should be very easy to read. It should have a nice, neat, beginning, middle and end. So once you've got everything down onto paper, modify and move your paragraphs around so that it's easy to flow for the reader. Now I run the Step to State service, that Step to Med offer, where I review so many personal statements over the summer. And I can tell you, those that are easy to read, that have a great introduction, a nice meaty middle and a lovely summary at the end, are just so fluent when I'm reading them and reviewing them. And admissions tutors like the story to be told that way. A good tip is if you've mentioned something at the start, refer back to it right at the end with a very short, neat summary sentence. It ties things up really well in a nice loop and it just makes your personal statement flow incredibly well. Our next very important tip is write it yourself. Now, there are so many softwares and personal statement services that may write your personal statement for you. It's that reason why we don't do that. We will always review it, but we will not write it for you. And that's because it's your personal statement. It's gotta be authentic and original to you. Now at interview, if you don't know what was in that statement and how it was written, often your interviews may even have a copy of it and it's very easy to get caught out. Likewise, if you've copied paragraphs of the internet or certain sentence structures, these can also be picked up on on very advanced anti-plagiarism software. So please avoid any plagiarism. Start early and you won't even be tempted to do things like that. Now, 
we review personal statements and we really do recommend that you get somebody to have a look at it, have another opinion, or of course you can send it to us because reviewing it is absolutely acceptable because having a fresh pair of eyes allows you to iron out any grammatical errors, sentence structures, and also reorder things that you may not have seen originally. But please do write it yourself. Next, make every word count. Now you have 4,000 characters to really showcase your journey into why you decided to be a doctor or dentist. So make every word count. Sometimes we can fall into the trap of trying to use lots of superfluous words or clicking on the right click synonym on the word document and finding a different word, but also just go back and think, do these words actually add any substance to what I'm writing? And if you can still get your point across without those two or three descriptive words, then they're not useful. So take them out and see if you can raise another point of something that you really wanted to include. So make sure you are quite ruthless when you're reviewing your personal statement. A lot of our tutors are trained to do this, so we can do that for you because also we're unbiased. And that's because there might be some words that you really like, so you want to keep in there. But we don't have that kind of bias towards this. So if we think something doesn't add value, you'll see, we'll just strike it out. And that's just to save you some characters so that you can include everything you really want to include. So in summary, when starting out and beginning your personal statement, get it all out onto paper. Try and split this up into sections, the extracurriculars, your work experience and your insights, as well as maybe any personal stories. Try and put these into sections and everything you want to include. Don't worry about the word count and character limit early on. Then, if you've already downloaded our logbooks, try and fill these in and show your reflections so that these will be really easy when you're writing those experiences and what you learnt from them. And if you haven't used them, then you can just start now. Make sure you go back to our webinars that we've done on personal statements so that you can see how we've constructed both the beginning, middle and end. We've saved them all and you can access these on our website. And lastly, be sure to sign up to our Step to State service. We offer 10 reviews for £50, so that's about £5 a review, and most our tutors just keep reviewing even if you get to the 10th review. We don't mind it at all. To sign up, visit www.steptomed.co.uk or email us with any questions on hello at steptomed.co.uk. Subscribe to our channel below and follow us on at Step to Med on our social media handles. Our next few videos are also going through writing the personal statement, the middle parts, how to really showcase your work experience and your insight into medicine so make sure you click on that and watch that video too.